We are not Biafrans, who are peaceful, we are going to run you out from Abuja, Fulani terrorist warns Wyke. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Nisam Wyke, has been warned by Fulani terrorist, that he should leave Abuja, this was why he called for a security meeting, and in that meeting, he warned informants of kidnappers, bandits and criminals in the territory to repent or end up dying in the hands of security operatives. Wyke gave the warning on Saturday at a town hall security meeting, held in the Kyuge Area Council of the territory. He also urged residents of the area council to play their role in providing relevant information that would assist security agencies. He says, We are going to tackle insecurity head-on. These bandits and criminals, their time is up. I know some of the criminal informants are here listening to me and if you are an informant, you will die the same way those people you are informing will die. You have the opportunity of repenting today or else you are gone. Nobody will pity you. You have seen what the security agencies have been doing in the past few days. That is to show to you that it is not business as usual. Be fully aware that we are ready for you. I told the chairman to make sure that the vigilance groups are empowered and we must do it well. They must be profiled and the security agencies must know them. And to the residents, give us information. You must work with the security agencies and provide them with information, he added. The minister also expressed shock at the state of roads in Kyuge Area Council, vowing that he would revisit the council's file and construct motorable roads for the residents. Thanks for watching. If I should say something here, this was the same man who murdered so many innocent freedom fighters. This is the same wicked who murdered those asking for their freedom. He murdered people who are not criminals. Today, it was informed that Flanit Trot sent him a letter, but that he did not show to the public. Rather, he is busy also claiming to be a man. Let us see how this game is played. According to the eyewitness, he was thoroughly warned in the letter that he should leave Abuja. So that is not my problem. Because in life, whatever you sow is what you reap. These are terrorists. Whom the same vice president, Shetima, the same president that you are following today, the same Buhari who still lived somewhere, whether in Pustor or Ri, are the same people who organize and brought this boy into this country. Since we can believe he is strong and powerful, let him remain in Abuja and battle them. Even though I know that this is all games, it could be game. Because Nigerian government knows nothing but playing of game. These are people, Bola Medinibu, Erfa, Buhari brought it to this country. So why would they turn against them? Are we talking about our own flani that Shetima created? The tourists he created from our own flani in Nigeria. They may be against them. Or they are just joking. You know, I remember when they broke, destroyed Kuji prison and freed their men. 
They are threatening that they are going to kidnap Buhari. I told you then that they will not do anything like that because Buhari is their mentor. He created them. He brought them into this country called Nigeria. So there's no way they can kidnap him. Because they know that it caused so much chaos. And they will be fished out. Because when those who bring in the terrorists are still in leadership, they will continue to work strong. Why they kidnap? They collect ransom, they buy weapons. That is why you see them have so many weapons as a speak to them. 800 million, 700 million, they collect from ransom from a group of people. Government are paid. Because why? Because the government cannot attack them. The government cannot kill them. If not, when they kidnap the first time, and let out the people were free, all government needed to know though. Start immediately to free them out. But they did not do that. Because why? Because they don't care about the masses. What they care about is their own pocket. Those who are sponsoring the flying terrorists in Nigeria, some of them are foreigners. And they are using the government to achieve that. This was why Tribu came into office in the first instance. If not, someone like Tribu will not be a president of Nigeria. Planning to make sure that he become president of Nigeria because. That is the game they want him to play for them. British want him to be in office by all means because British want him to continue the game that Buhari could not finish. It's true that somehow he's deviated, and for this reason, British are somehow against him as we speak. But he knows them. He's threatened by water. When he starts with the writing, they will stay that call. And this is the reason I have said for long that people have to be careful. We have to be strong and active. Not to what some people are doing today. Using the money contributed by people to do rubbish in desperate. Whereas we don't have a common, tangible, good weapon. And this I get out of hand. Why Fulani are kidnapping, killing. And the government are paying them ransom for it. Because what? Because they brought them in. They want them to continue to work strong to do their job that they were brought to do. For we I pity for that idiot. I will be left him untouched because of some reason. But if it doesn't take time, he will die in Abuja. Fulani has my will help him again. Let him wait and see. Oh, that he died here, he still stays alive. That is not our own cup of tea. Our problem is he has a bar and he will pay one day. I think I've come to the end of this news. Thank you so much for watching.